Greetings, this is a video to demonstrate how to do basic editing functions of the Roland 7X the accordion. There are only three buttons I will be explaining and that's all that you need to do all of the editing processes. The buttons are on the left side of the grill. They consist of the menu right button, the data enter button, and the exit button. The menu right button is used with one quick press to access the menu, access the menus. Press it once as I did there and you'll be into the menus. The exit button takes you back out. Press the menu button once and you've gotten into the menus exit you're out so I'm going to get into the menu again and because I've been working in the system menu that's where I loaded the uh, the menu so I'm in system which is menu 10 now if I want to go to another different menu I simply rotate the data enter button and I can scroll through all of the menu options. But right now I'd like to go to the system menu. Now, if I want to go deeper into the sub menu, I again use the data enter button, but this time instead of scrolling, I push it in. That gets me into the um, menu hierarchy, the lower hierarchy. And once I'm there, I can rotate to see what other options are available. So once again, I'm exiting back out to the main screen. To get back into the system menu, I press the menu once. And to get into the submenus, I press the data enter button. That's all there is to it. So now I'm going to show you some of the most important system menu items that I think make a difference in playing. I'm going to scroll one and look at the bellows curves. Right now I have it set on standard, which is what I like, but you can change the bellows curves to be very light, extra light, to extra heavy, and it definitely changes the way you play the role and, and the sound that you get out of it. I won't go into detail here, just experiment if you like, but for my purposes I definitely prefer standard or heavier when it's lighter for me. Um, I don't have the ability to play with subtle volume changes, but some people do. Also if you want to play with a fixed value. For example, if you want to try programming without having to pull the bellows, you can go to the fixed options. Fixed low, fixed medium, fixed high. Now, how do I get out of this submenu? First, I want to be sure I have it set at my preferred level, which is standard. To get out or to back out of anything, you always press the exit. Back out one, tap, and I'm into the submenus and I can now scroll again to other possible changes. Stereo width you might want to play with simply changes the spread or the degree of stereo sound that you get out of the Roland speakers. Output level I like to set at minus 12 simply because the output from the Roland is pretty hot. When I use external speakers this avoids any distortion. It has no impact on the internal Roland speakers. To get to the level where I can change that, I press the data enter tab, scroll, and I'm going to leave it where it is. To get out, you always press the exit, one tap. I'm at the next higher level. Um, auto power on, you can change that to be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. 10 minutes is a good number. Use the exit to go up one level. Start up, you can change what set 
you want to start at. I have mine at 70 because that's where I center my activities. You might have yours defaulting at set 1. Anyway, that's easy to change. Switch from different value to the other by using the data enter button and just press it once. How do I get back up to the next level of the menu? Press exit. Scroll. Startup name. Isn't too important, but this is orchestra touch value. You can go into the menu by pressing the data enter value again. You can change this to fixed values, which would mean that when you play an orchestral sound that it's at a fixed level. You can let your touch velocity, how hard you touch the keyboard, determine the uh, volume level, more like a piano player would do. And this is this applies to the touch sensitivity voices such as piano and the guitar. But most people I know start at least with the fixed medium and bellows. So unless you have a reason to do otherwise, I'd suggest trying there and that trying that level and experimenting. Backing up. Orchestra bass touch has the same options. I like mine to be at fixed medium and bellows. The chord touch, I also generally leave at fixed medium and plus bellows. And the drum touch at normal. So the things you're probably most likely to tweak are the bellows curves and the orchestra bass and chord touch. Now let's suppose you have done all the tweaking you want and you'd like to save so that when you open up the Roland and turn it on the next time those values will be saved. All you need to do is use automatic save. The menu right button is the most important button for saving. In fact, that's the only way you will save. And you do it by holding for about two seconds the menu right button. Then you will see a screen that gives you information about what is being saved. If you're in the system menu and you hold the menu right button, you will be saving any system changes you made. Notice the check mark that tells you that you are saving the system values that you just put in. That's all there is to it if you use the menu button, holding it down until it says right and, it, and you can look at it be sure you're, you're in the right menu but this says you're going to save all of the system changes. Let's do that. One more tap of the menu right button. It's executing and you have saved all the changes that you've made. That's all you need to do. So the menu right button is what you use to save. Exit is what you use to get out of whatever menu you're in. One other change I'd like to make is to the reverb, which you will, you will find in the set common menu. How do I get there? Tap the menu button. I'm at system, which is 10. I need to scroll back one to set common. How do I go deeper in the menu? Always use the data enter button. Push once. I'm deeper and I'm looking at the reverb. You'll find that you may have still this awful reverb called plate. If you want it to sound better, in my view, rotate the data enter knob to probably hall one, at least that's what most people use, including myself. That's the only thing under set common that I'm going to suggest changing. What this does is to change the reverb value for the set that you're in, which in this case is my set 70, 
but you will find that the default is plate and I would certainly suggest changing that to another reverb such as Hall 1. You'll find that the sound is very different. Now I need to save what I just changed so that when I open the Roland again I will not have to change this setting anymore. How do we save? We hold the menu right button about two seconds. This now displays the screen which shows I am indeed saving the common settings for that set. The wording is a little tortuous but all you're doing is is saving the changes that you made to this particular set not to other sets. In order to complete the save process to the memory we again touch the menu right button which I just did and it saved and I am done. So once again to back out I simply use the exit button and let's go through that save one more time. I hold the menu right button a couple of seconds that shows the screen indicating that I am indeed saving the common settings I go back here to the menu right button tap it once it executes and I'm done back out using the exit button and I'm to the main screen so that's all there is using three editing buttons I can make any program or or parameter changes that I like and save to the internal memory. Next time I'll look at other things that you can do, for example um, importing exporting sets and making changes to particular registers.